These are highly branched to go out there and suck like a sponge out of the soil what the plant needs. Are they like a legume where they have another nitrogen fixing bacteria? Well, this is, this is like the nodules on a legume's mm -hmm. roots because that's where the nitrogen fixation is taking place. Mm -hmm. But these are like the mineral uptake. This is taking up the cations and the silica and the phosphorus mm -hmm. and that sort of stuff up through these roots. So this goes out and feeds off of the soil. This goes down and feeds the soil activity with enough sugar because it takes 10 units of sugar for every amino acid that your risotobacters make. So, so you've got to have a lot of sugar coming down here to get a lot of amino acid production. And that's but why you have such wide leaves then. If you'll notice so then, some... back here at the base of the root, the distance between nodes is about that far. As it gets up here, it keeps widening. It's a little more and a little more up here. It keeps widening because the plant is getting more amino acid nitrogen from the nitrogen fixing activity inside this root. Now let's look inside the root. See how this is almost like jelly. This is a substrate or a matrix within which the nitrogen fixing microbes live. And because, oh, wow. because the plant it, it actually invites nematodes to come and eat within the plant's roots, because they're feeding off this rich jelly, almost, you know, almost plastic matrix here, and the nematodes actually help the plant get more amino acid nitrogen digesting up the plant's root. Mm. So so they live in it. So this is a mm. is a is a a host for nematodes. Mm -hmm. Good. So you plant tomatoes behind this one. This one will raise your nematode count, and then your tomatoes or your carrots or whatever will suffer from that. Mm. So you want to uh, rotate through something like soybeans or something that starves and annihilates the nematodes. So should they but, plant but, soybeans here next year, or just? Uh, it wouldn't be such a bad idea if you can make money on selling uh, edamame. <laughs> so this is a, a crown from last yep. year. Yep. The turmeric crown that we planted. And everything and came off this came side off of it. Of yep. And, it's, and this is our beds. Yes. 2016 Qualaberry Farm. This is all red turmeric. It's been dry. And they're drought stressed. But we're hoping well, this will be quality uh, uh, turmeric. turmeric because you have seen it's getting progressively larger distance in its leaf nodes, which means it's getting more amino acid nitrogen from the biological activity around its roots. Wow. And so it's going to be very complex turmeric and it's going to be very high quality. That's good. So. To know. Yeah. Yeah. So, remember, you're selling and, for quality, not just for weight. Mm -hmm. Well, especially when you're selling it to people who are using it for some medicinal reason. Mm -hmm. I mean, so it's uh, in the October Indian. Sixteenth, <laughs> level and strawberry. Hello. Are visiting. Oh. Surprise! Drive up the driveway and give us a lesson about turmeric. What a, what a treat! Yeah. Well, you can see so how the long. soil is so porous in here. Yeah. It's actually that animal activity opening up the soil that makes the space for the plant to expand its uh, mm -hmm. rhizomes.